really hoping that we could continue a streak that we have starting from uh, Dreamhack Tour and then going on with uh, Yes of Pro League where there was a lot of very good teams over there. And uh, I was really hoping we could keep on that good mentality that we have throughout the whole tournament. The good side is that ETS is not the biggest tournament on the schedule for us. Uh, we qualified, it is the first tournament out of the next big three dates for us, so the major qualifier, uh, ESL1 Cologne, and then hopefully the, the major qualifier, we're definitely hoping to, to get there. And uh, that, that is definitely going to help us shape even better our mentality. And, and I'd rather have this happen now than in Cologne, because that means that we're going to be able to, to be a bit more under the radar for all the other teams um, coming into Cologne in the major, because that's when you can surprise and come and win a tournament. It is good that we know exactly what to work on because it was very specific after the phase game, what went wrong. And if we can fix that mentality for the next three weeks, um, we're gonna be able to do a lot of damage. I'm feeling like we are ready in game. We got everything when it's well executed, like it's working. But we just, it looks like we didn't I mean, we didn't play as, as a team, it was one plus one plus one plus one, but we were not a unit. Well, uh, losing is, is always really hard. Um, so basically meeting your fans, cheer you up. Like I remember like going to the signing session really down and sad. And at the end of the signing session, I got a little, a little bit better because of like the fan meetings, um, like it feels like yeah they are always cheering for you whatever happened. So yeah, it feels great to to have some kind words from people after that kind of loss. Uh, when we arrived, the people like just um, clapped their hands uh, for us, even if we lost. <laughs> It was really something like touching my heart. I mean, uh, I was very really grateful about these these people. It is definitely something that helps you as a player, helps us as players to um, have a better mentality and and realize that we disappointed people in a way, but we are we're still appreciated by people, and we can still give them back through other tournaments. Any tournaments can go our way or if we don't focus directly it can go the other way. <laughs> so it depends, it's gonna depend on ourselves, on our mentality. Just if we're good, we're focused, it's gonna be. My expectation for Cologne 2017 is uh, going through the group stage because the first time uh, ESL Cologne uh, at the Laxess Arena was in 2015 and I was there with another team and we went through the final and it was an amazing event. The crowd is amazing, there are a lot of people there. I think it's the, the, the event where you have the most people on the crowd. It's like, I think in 2015 it was 14,000 14, people. So it's something huge for, for us who played in front of 10 people like a few years ago. So I feel like, yeah, ESL Cologne is a really important tournament to play for the fans. So we're going to give our best to go through the curve stage to play in the land Access Arena. Just, just for that, playing in front of crowd, in front of a lot of fans like that, it just... I feel like it's the best, as I said before, it's the best thing you can have on Counter Strike or in eSports. And you just see all the fans cheering for you and just asking you to take photos or to sign an autograph or whatever. It's just amazing, yeah. Our fans are the best, man. And we just disappoint them. But they still love you. That's why we love them. It's a big love between them and us. Big love.